Early morning, received a call for a patient that went down on a mountaintop. So we immediately called the urgent nine line, took off, got to the LZ Sparrow where they infilled the guys, got the first patient on board, talked to the medic on ground. He said that uh, they had a couple more patients, a couple of hundred uh, clicks down, or a couple hundred meters down the hillside. So we had to go down there and pick those up. It was gonna be a hoist extraction. So took the two patients off of uh, Sparrow, flew down, located the two guys. It was a squad size element that had been separated because of the injuries that they'd sustained. They couldn't get back up and they'd been receiving uh, machine gun fire all morning long since, the, since daylight. Once we got in, I talked to my pilots, told them, hey, this is gonna be where we're gonna hoist myself down into. My crew chief started to uh, prepare, get me hooked up to the hoist. So I got all hooked up. As soon as we opened the cargo doors, we started taking fire to the helicopter. So we took four or five rounds, that first hoist, told the pilots, hey, we're taking rounds, I'm going down. Unhooked, went, hoisted in, got down there, talked to the uh, E6 on the ground, got him hooked up, got him on the JP, which is the jungle penetrator. My aircraft came in, tried to get the, the first hoist done. And as soon as I got a hold of the cable, we started taking more rounds. So the aircraft's probably 100 feet up. I get the cable, and as soon as I get the cable, I call back up, hey, you're taking fire, you know, break off. So they go around again, and then uh, they tell me, they're like, okay, we're gonna try for another round. And they come back in, I get that guy out, and I tell them, hey, push off. It's, you know, you're taking too much contact. You're taking too much uh, hits. Had a Kiowa team on station, which is two Kiowas, and uh, started talking to them. I called up, I said, hey, you know, I think the poo's gonna be on this side and told them grid location. So the uh, Kiowas came in, shot some rockets, and then my aircraft came back in, picked up, or tried to attempt to pick up the other guys. And they said, hey, we're gonna wait on the Apaches. We're still taking too much fire. I said, okay. I talked to my uh, pilot command, made the decision, hey, I'm gonna move the two patients that I had left, I'm gonna pick them up and move them down about 400 meters into a valley that would break the ridge line between us and where we're getting shot at, so I'd have actual terrain coverage. So my pilots had to break station, go back, get fuel, left me on the ground to move these guys. I moved them down. Uh, I came back in the second, or about, I was probably on the ground a little over two hours by this, and they just called me, hey, I'm coming back in. And with our TTPs, it was, if I lost radio communications, I would pop smoke for them to come in and extract us. So at that time, my radio died. I popped smoke, they came in, hoisted the uh, first gentleman out, which was a civilian uh, police officer. He had actually sprained his knee pretty bad and couldn't get up the mountain, so he wasn't gonna walk back up. So I hoisted him out and then hoisted the squad leader out with me because I wasn't gonna leave him on the ground by himself. And then went back to the base where the pilots got fuel, picked up my other two patients that was on board, and took them back to Jalalabad.